Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan and I am owner and operator of In Progress Counseling. Today we're going to talk for just a moment about the wilderness. And what I mean by that is the land in between where you've come from and where you want to go. Now, one of the places I camp out clinically quite often is hanging out with people in the wilderness, people going through seasons of adjustments. A lot of times it's with young adults who are in career formation and identity formation. And a lot of people I walk with are women going through life transitions, kind of post rupture or post loss, or just some sort of season of life is shifting. And typically the wilderness is the scary place where I just don't know what the next steps are. And so what we often have to do is instead of focusing on the global, what's supposed to happen next, we look at the local, what do I want to do in my day to day? And a lot of that comes down to character formation and habit formation. If I don't have a job and I desperately want a job, I cannot control who is calling me. I cannot control when they call. I cannot control who is hiring and when they hire. What I do have heavy influence over is my daily rhythms in that in between. So there's a certain amount of maybe resumes that I'm going to be sending out, but also my day-to-day -day habits matter immensely because perception of helplessness is one of the things that will get us in a spin cycle and get us immobilized and help or contribute rather to us feeling helpless. And so if you're not waking up for work, the question is, what do you want to do first thing in the morning? Perhaps you want to do some sort of habit stacking that is for your good. So you want to get out of bed, you want to do some stretching, you want to eat a nutritious breakfast, you want to connect with someone, maybe you want to do some sort of daily devotions, you want to read something, you want to practice learning a language. Whatever it is, you want to do things that are significant and meaningful, things that orient you towards some sort of structure, some sort of purpose, because the in-between tells us often like, hey, I don't know what my purpose is right now. I don't quite have structure. So you superimpose it into your day. What happens when we don't have kind of a framework set around our lives is we can often get into a spin cycle and we can often um, feel really disoriented. We can feel really... Um, disengage. And the, the problem is we actually are disengaged from some things that are meaningful. So if that's what I'm feeling and experiencing, my job is to engage. And that takes purpose and that takes intentionality and that takes some sort of typical habit or typically rather it takes some sort of habit that I want to pull in. Maybe it's just for now in the in-between or maybe it's something that's for my good anyway and I actually have time to focus on it. But I walk with many people about, hey, is this a good time to focus on something related to nutrition? Focus on something related to soft skills or hard skills. Focus on something related to your relationship. We have this time, we have this stretch of in between and let's use it in a way that is generative possibly or in a way that helps you address social emotional things, in a way that helps you learn how to settle. There's many things we can do but we want to orient ourselves in a direction. So that's the thing we're inviting in today. If you are in the wilderness, the question is, what do we do with that? What frameworks or structures or invitations do you want to bring in right now? Because the wilderness is a lot less scary and a lot less um, immobilizing when we have some local patterns and habits showing up that orient us towards good, even when we don't quite understand globally what's going on in our lives.